Hi Jill, um, so I'm just going to do a video um, to help you solve this problem. So basically in this question you're given the reaction four sodiums react with oxygen to produce sodium oxide and you're told that one gram of sodium is going to release, hold on a second, 901 kilojoules. So here's the uh, there's the question. So 901 kilojoules of heat are released when one gram of sodium reacts according to this reaction. So I noticed that when you did the question, um, you started out by doing 901 kilojoules divided by four, which would imply that 901 kilojoules of heat are released when four moles of sodium are burned. So, or sorry, react with oxygen, but same thing. Um, so basically, uh, that's a problem because it's not four moles reacting, it's one gram of sodium reacting. So that's the um, kind of where you encountered a problem because what you first need to do is figure out how many moles uh, one gram of sodium is. So we have one gram of sodium and for every uh, mole of sodium it's going to weigh 22.99 grams. And so when you do that math, you should get 0 0.043, some kind of a decimal, moles. Okay, so, and then just stopping to think if that makes sense. Well, if one mole is 23 grams, then one gram is going to be quite a bit less than one mole. So that number makes sense. Um, then what we want to do is we have our moles of um, sodium. We want to figure out if 901 kilojoules are released, they're released for this number of moles, right? For the one gram, so 0 0.043 moles. And we want to do this calculation to figure out what the kilojoules per mole are, right? So um, that would be, if you do the math, it's going to be 20,713.989, something like that, decimal. Um, and so that's how many kilojoules are released per mole of sodium. So now if we want to go in, they're asking us to figure out according to how this reaction proceeds, um, how much energy would be released, right? Um, and so basically what we want to say is in this, now we see that there are four, four moles of sodium. And so basically what we would do is, um, if this is the number of kilojoules per mole, then we basically just want to multiply it by the number of moles that are represented in the reaction, which is four. So that's going to give me 82,855.9 um, kilojoules total for this reaction as written. And then because the answers are given in megajoules, I need to divide this by a thousand um, kilo, uh, thousand me think about that kilojoules per megajoule. There we go. And that's going to leave me with 82 point, um, 82.855 or, or 9. I can't remember what the answer was on the slide there, but um, megajoules. Okay, so hopefully that helps you and let me know if you have any more questions.